this covenant. I will respect the hard work of those health professionals. Soon after the oath of allegiance to the noble health care provision, they promised to give quality health care to the underserved Ugandans. Even our motto says we serve the underserved. So I'm here, I'll make sure that I serve those who can't reach up to get the medication they are supposed to get. I have made it. Now I'm a graduate, a qualified lab technician. And on top of that, I have managed to be the best performing candidate. He's representing the Minister of State for Higher Education, Dr. Chris Rostom Muingo. The Principal Tivet Officer at the Allied Health Division and Health Education Training Department of the Minister of Education and Sports, Dr. Pokas Gaire urged graduates at the Medicare Health Professionals College to reposition themselves to be able to address the modern ways of health care service delivery. You are graduating at a time in history when our world is dealing with enormous challenges as health workers all these directly impact your working atmosphere but you must be willing to position yourselves as professionals who will advance solutions. Dr. Kasigaire appealed to health workers to be counted during the housing and population census as a way of updating the health service provision data. To remind all of us to actively embrace the national housing and population census, which starts with the census night on May 9, 2024. A total of 127 health caregivers have graduated with diplomas in clinical medicine and community health, diploma in public health dentistry, diplomas in medical laboratory, certificate in dental chair side assisting, and certificate in medical laboratory techniques at Medicare Health Professionals College in Mengo, Kampala. A medical doctor, former chairman Ruchiga District, and a director of the first private allied health training institute in Uganda, Dr. S. Kampikaho, has encouraged health caregivers to join politics, saying that it is pivotal in service delivery of health care. want you to go out and provide quality care. But remember, remember that this is, will not be possible unless you participate in politics. <laughs> If you don't participate in politics, life is going to be very difficult for you. Be leaders there in your community. The college patron, Dr. Geoffrey Kabagambe, says health care professionals are obliged to observe professional morals and trust by the patients. Where possible, especially now with the advance of technology, let us follow some of those clients, especially who have complicated issues. How are they doing when they left? The hospital. I'm sure they would be happy if they received a message from you. Characterized by happy moments and cultural dance performances, was a tradition by the college to appreciate Uganda cultural diversity. I'm Ivan Juko for UBC. <laughs>